divorce them. And for me, one of the, the people in the Bible who fully understood this is the Apostle John. From being one of the sons of thunder, he became the Apostle of love. The Beloved. John the Beloved. And even his writings, you can see it. In, in the whole book, he wrote about love, about the word love, 109 times. So he understood what love was. Why? Because he saw it in Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. But we just don't know about it. He proved it to us. Imagine what happened to John. Throughout his life, he experienced his own physical brother being killed. He experienced being exiled to an island. He experienced being blood into a boil, boiling pot of oil. Yeah, that's right. And if you don't love Jesus Christ, you would have stopped. You would have stopped loving Him. You would have stopped doing things for Him. That's right. You would have given up. Come on, we even saw Jesus Christ Come on, bro. physically dying on us. Come on, bro. How was your week? Jesus Christ to our Lord. What made him so intimate with Jesus Christ? What we see in his life, it says he was personally called by Jesus Christ. Yeah. And one of those fishermen, I see you, I see you out there. He was called by Jesus Christ. He became one of the closer friends of Jesus Christ. Even, you know, for him, he fought over being by the right side. Jesus. Yeah. He was part of the inner circle of Jesus. He was one of those people who saw the transfiguration. Yes. Right. He also saw Jesus struggle in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yes. You know, he even failed Jesus. Jesus begged him to stay up for him. And he fell asleep. That's right. He saw Jesus suffer on the cross. And he saw Jesus die on the cross. But he also saw Jesus resurrect. See, John was always there. In the different parts of, uh, of Jesus' life, John was present. That's right. See, the cross for John meant everything. His devotion came from his understanding of the cross. For John, his vision of Jesus Christ was clear. Either you see his joy in his presence, or you see the grief of his absence. Wow. But you see, John's story is also our story. Yes, come on. Remember, if you're a disciple here today, you are called by Jesus. Christ. That's right. If you're a disciple here today, Jesus wants you to be his best friends. He's one of his intimate friends. Yeah. If you're a disciple here today, you probably have failed Jesus Christ already. Yes. But see, if you're a disciple here today, Jesus Christ rose from the dead for you. Yes. And because of John's love for Jesus Christ, Jesus gave him the book of vision, Revelation. Wow. I give you my love. Jesus was at the cross, John was the only man who 
he was grateful that after three days of longing for Jesus' presence, he found it again. And so he made sure that until his death, he would fight to always be in Jesus' presence. That he would rid himself of anything that would get in the way of his relationship with Jesus. He went through tragedies, isolation, he saw the world evangelized, but still all he wanted was to be in Jesus' presence. Is there a tenacity? Is there a desperation in your relationship with Jesus? Is there a longing and a grief when you don't feel His presence? Do you feel a joy when you find Him? You know, for me, um, when I got baptized nine years ago, it was amazing. But my relationship with God was tested with tragedy. You know, um, in 2014, I had Nathan, he was um, already two and a half years old at that time, and he wanted to be pregnant again. And in 2014, we were trying to get pregnant, but we had a miscarriage. I mean, I really was grieving. I couldn't find it in me to be as devoted as I was before to God. I felt like it was so hard to go to church, to have my quiet time, to pray. Why? Because I felt like God was absent. I felt so disappointed that I felt like God was not existing in my life. There was a disappointment, but it came to a point where it felt so much worse. The disappointment was just a smaller thing. The bigger thing was that I just didn't want to be away from Jesus. So I became desperate for comfort from Jesus. I became desperate for a relationship with Him. I became desperate. I was begging to reveal himself to me, to find him again, to be with me again. And so for several days, like John, I was at a loss. I didn't know what to do as I was finding Jesus until I realized I can try all these things. I can try reading my Bible, praying, writing it down, fellowshipping, getting, going on encouragement days, doing all these things. But if I'm not happy with just the presence of Jesus, You 
have intimate devotion with.